a new graphics card was announced by NVIDIA, and it is quite the news. And normally, I don't really talk about this type of stuff, but I was, you know, I've been experimenting recently, if you may have not noticed. Does that sound... Whatever, fuck it. With my type of content that I'm making. So, you know, just decided to talk about this new graphics card that's coming out. And if you don't know me by now, which... Or if you couldn't really tell... Uh, I'm really into, you know, computers and whatnot and, you know, technology and in my system, okay, I have, you know, a pretty, a pretty good solid build. I have a 2070 made from gigabyte. I always shop for, for deals like on eBay for used cars. Like I got that one used cause the cars are ridiculously expensive. Like they are a lot of money. It's, it's a well-known fact of how expensive graphics cards can be and they go up and down and they were really bad at what point I don't even I don't remember what year it was, but uh, my one friend Nabil um, he, he makes some videos too, you know, I'll, you know what shout out to Nabil. I'll, I'll link his channel somewhere He makes some cool stuff. He built his PC during the worst time to build a PC I remember uh, we were laughing about it a while ago because that was just the worst like shortly after he built his pc prices went down for like everything uh gpus and ram and all that so they okay so nvidia announced a bunch of new graphics cards uh the 3070 Okay, it's showing us the history of the graphics cards, you know, showing, you know, look good little build up. So it this is actually pretty good to help you guys understand the way the generations of these graphics cards work. So this is 2080. So I have the 2070, which is the one just below that. So I would be getting the 3070, but this is the trailer for the 3080. 28 billion transistors and I don't know too much about this shit, but this is very, very impressive <laughs> as, as uh, you know, I take it from people that actually know their technology, but this is pretty high end shit. Ray tracing, of course, because you know, ray tracing is the future now. And then a Brand new design. Very interesting. So it goes down and then like gets blown out the side like a like a blower style. And then we got a Is that just like a pure fan right there? There, there has to be like something in between and it's two fans and something sandwiched in between with airflow going through. That has to be what it is. But that's really cool. I haven't I don't think we've ever seen that. I like the look though. It looks a lot more futuristic than the 1070 series. Like the, the yeah, the, than the 10,000 series. Not only are they gonna be crazy powerful, they're gonna be crazy affordable. The 3070, which is what I'm planning on potentially getting, um, is rumored to be around the same power of a 2080 Ti. Now, if you don't got, if you guys don't know. A 2080 Ti is worth like $1,500 right now. And the 3070, which is greater than that, by the way, it's better than the, it has better performance supposedly than the 2080 Ti. Guess how much they're pricing it? $499. NVIDIA? 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 Making a powerful, decent product? For a decently priced amount? It's unheard of. This is this this there must be a glitch in the simulation. There there must there there uh, so, something something has to be up. It, it's, it can't be more powerful than their last generation and be like almost like three times the, less than the amount. 
what the fuck is going on? And sure, we have to wait until we actually get these cars and see their performance and all that. But it, I have high hopes. I have genuine high hopes and high expectations. I can't wait to see how the 3090 tends to. That's going to be a 1500 car. Uh, I can't wait to see how that performs compared to these other cards now too. This this graphics card is is, is going to be insanely powerful, and I really hope this uh, helps push RTX more, right? And you know they always you know I was assuming they were going to have RTX because they can't just have RTX in the, the 20 series and then completely cancel it. Um, you know, they're kind of hoping on that being the future. And, you know, the next console generation, they're going to have RTX. So it, it definitely is the future. You know, it's just up to developers to utilize it. So I really hope that they do take that extra time to use RTX, especially if, you know, the fans want it. And if every console can, you know, support it, why wouldn't they? And again, this this is why competition is good. This is why competition is good because now AMD, oh boy, I don't what what the fuck is AMD going to do? Who who even knows? Are they going to drop their prices of their already existing cars? Are they going to drop some new cars? They have to drop new cars cuz they need they need to be able to compete with that performance too. So they have to drop new cars with that affordability as well. This is honestly a game changer. A I don't even know what to call it. The, the Nvidia came out of nowhere with this move. AMD just couldn't actually compare in performance because they were AMD's always been considered the more affordable brand, right? You know, you lost a couple frames here, you know, with their CPUs or whatever, but or their GPUs, but both of them, right? So like, but they were more affordable and they weren't that too far off from their Intel counterparts, so people tended to buy them. But Intel always did have that little advantage of people who actually did want every single possible frame doesn't matter the cost and it allowed them to um oh so i mixed up intel and nvidia there but fuck it same thing they eh, they both had a monopoly for a while against amd yeah and it allowed them to make their prices whatever they wanted which is why they were so expensive but now i guess they understand that amd is actually now an actual competitor again <laughs> and there may we'll, we'll see if this move does anything to them to amd to see if, if they'll counteract i really hope they do uh because like i said competition is good i like to see where this is going um these cards i think the 30 80 and 90 release in really soon actually and then the 30 70 releases in october uh some people are also saying I mean, if you have a PC, you might not want a console anyways, but would you rather get this or a PlayStation 5? You should let me know because uh, I want a PlayStation 5 really bad because it's, I feel like that's finally the first console generation to be on par with PCs. And I really like uh, Sony exclusives. So And it's backwards compatible, so I would love to play Sony PlayStation 4 exclusives on that as well. It would be... A pretty good system you get more because my brother has games so i could just use those too i don't know that that's 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 pretty much just about it nvidia's out here with big moves big uh, i can't wait to see what, what happens start saving up you know if you don't buy it you know at launch which i don't think i'm going to uh i'm probably gonna wait until you know people start selling them on ebay at lower prices because <laughs> uh, my 2070 is still good enough and it's still gonna be good enough for a while uh, no need to upgrade right away, but that pricing is pretty appetizing. However, that is still five hundred dollars, and if you're like me, that's still kind of fucking crazy. <laughs> and with that note, thank you guys for watching. Um, see you guys in the next one. Bye.